Hey guys, Classic Gengar here, and I've got this kind of uh, layout thing going on now, uh, if you can see, obviously. It's kind of rudimentary, it's not perfect by any means, but it works, I did it myself, proud of me. Anyways, so let's get right into these. So this is a battle against me and Ty, I'm pretty sure there's just some random dude I found, can't remember off the top of my head. So let's get right into it. Now as you can see, his team is kind of filth. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of filth. So he's got all Ultra Beasts, and I've got pretty much a, no a normal team going on. Um, I guess Koma O has higher base stats than the Ultra Beast, but I don't think he's near as good. So he's going to lead with the uh, Faramosa and... You know, looking at this damage, I don't think they're, uh, they're EV trained or anything. Probably, looking at it now. Because I don't think my Porygon Z definitely should not have been able to live that, so. But I am going to be able to walk the floor with uh, the Breakneck. The Hyper Beam Z move Breakneck Blitz. And. That's, uh, it's HP dropped pretty fast, so, um, I'm just going to send out Buzzwall, and I can outspeed this thing, and I'm just going to take it out with a hyper beam. So, that's, uh, Porygon Z putting in the most work right now. <laughs> and then he sends in Kartana. Now, this UB is, uh... It's pretty legit, but he goes for Air Slash, which you shouldn't have on it, really, because it doesn't have that good special attack, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. I'm not uh, a genius or anything, and I actually looked at everything, and I knew that Hyper Beam would do the most damage. It would do, like, base 150, even though it's resisted. So Porygon Z single-handedly has taken down half of this team <laughs> and he's finally going to be able to take my Z Porygon Z out with the Seed Bomb. Now don't worry guys, there will be another battle. This isn't going to be the only battle you guys get in this video. I'll do uh, another one and it should be better than this one because uh, obviously this guy is just using Ultra Beast he caught and he's not... um. They're not properly trained or competitive, but just because you use filth doesn't mean you're going to be very successful. So I'm going to send him a Marowak, and I'm going to get a Flame Charge up, and I love this set. Thick Club, Flame Charge, Flare Blitz, uh, Double Edge, and Earthquake with Rockhead. It, uh, it does the most work. It's fucking, it's, it's crazy. You get a couple speed boosts up. And, you know, he shouldn't have been able to live that, but he just did. So, <clears throat> obviously he's not a, I can't show him off very much this game, but Lola Marowak is pretty nice. So, he's actually a special attacking, Guzzlord's weird, because it just has absurdly high HP, but everything else is, like, really pathetic. So, I'm just going to go for a Swords Dance. This is my Mimikyu. I've run, um... I run, you know, it obviously has Disguise, and then I have a Focus Sash on top of that. So if I really wanted to get, like, really greedy, I could get two Swords Dances up for free, unless there's rocks on the field or I'm statist. So that's pretty cool. I, I like Mimikyu. I like pretty much all the Pokemon I use on this team. Uh, I think I might swap Como out for something else. But I'm kind of waiting for the new meta to try to get put in place, you know, I don't, uh, cause, oh, it's just in its rudimentary stages now, so they're not done banning everything for Smogon, at least, which is what I primarily use, I'm not a big fan of double battles, so VGC doesn't do it for me, so, he, yeah, he's gonna send in a Celesteela, and I'm just going to get, uh, uh Will-O-Wisp off, and then he's gonna go for Seed Bomb, and that does nothing to me, but at the same time, I mean, I can't hit this guy very hard. 
but I'm going to probably... I, it's been a while since I've recorded this battle. Uh, yeah, so... I actually do have a Celesteela that I made, and it's pretty good. It's It's got pretty nice stats all around, especially for being a bulky Pokemon. It's actually got a pretty decent speed stat at 60-something, which is a lot higher than most Pokemon that are bulky. And it's got, like, it's got good HP... Like, a well-rounded Pokemon for a wall. You could do so much with Celesteela, and it gets Leech Life, Toxic, Protect, like, and Flamethrower. It gets Flamethrower, Heavy Slam. This thing is crazy. So that's Celesteela down, and that's my opponent. It's just a filth team, but, um, he's a tryhard, and it didn't work out for him. So let's get right into this next battle. This one is against a good buddy of mine. Well, he's not really a good buddy, but I've battled him a few times, and he's pretty good. So this will be much more interesting than that first battle. And I'm using the same team. I use this team a lot, actually, for a bit. So I lead with Porygon Z, and he leads with Passimian. Now, Passimian is like the bastard brother to Oranguru, because I don't think anyone is excited for him. Like, I don't think anybody cares about Passimian. It's just, I think it's a mono fighting type, and it does get bulk up, so that's pretty good. Uh, but it's not going to be able to survive a breakneck blitz from Porygon Z. Adaptability, Porygon Z, Z move, Hyper Beam. I will forever praise this. Like, even if you resist, that's going to hit you hard as hell. He's going to send out his Minior here, and Minior is pretty cool. It's, um, Rock Flying type, and its stats are kind of reversed when it's in its, uh, for the form it's in currently. It's, uh... Its defenses are base 100, and its attacks are base 60, but I think its speed is also base 60. But when its shields go down, the defenses turn into 60, and its attack and speed stats go to base 100. So this thing is uh, can be pretty gnarly. He's going to get a shell smash off, which is really dangerous, but I do have priority. So, it's not the biggest deal. So I'm just sending Mimikyu here, and I'm going to go for Shadow Sneak. There's no reason, like, there's nothing stopping me, and this thing can be a serious problem. So I'm going to send out his Toxapex here, and I can't do too much to this thing. It's a physical wall, it, you know, it gets Baneful Bunker, I don't want to get poisoned. I don't know if it's Regenerator or not, because it gets Regenerator and Merciless, and both are very good abilities. I like Merciless because it's cool to just always get crits, but... God damn it, tank, go away. So, I'm getting hurt by Infestation here, um, and he is actually holding a sticky barb. I don't know why he's holding a sticky barb. I think he might have been confused on what the item does, but unless he's got like a trick set or something, I don't I don't really know, but sticky barb is hurting him every turn. So, and he's burned. I think maybe he was trying to go for poison barb and maybe he's thinking it was like rocky helmet or something, but it's actually hurting him more every turn, and <clears throat> so the way he misplayed is actually uh, helping me out a lot. It's helping me take down this physical wall, and I see that he's not merciless, so I'm going to assume he's regenerator based on the fact that it wasn't a crit, <laughs> so infestation is an annoying move. It's keeping me locked in here. I can't swap out. But, I will be able to take him out with this Shadow Sneak. So, yeah. Oh no, I totally misspoke. Sorry guys. 
He gets a recover off. And I am going to go down this turn to the infestation damage. Oh well, not a big deal. So I get a free swap in here and I am and he's almost dead. So he's not in a good spot. I'm going to send out my nine tails here and I'm just going to go for an extra sensory. Get a snow warning up. Uh, another thing that I've already went over this in a few of my videos, but another cool thing is Aurora Veil. If you don't know what it is, you need to get it. It's such a good move, especially if you're into like the whole light screen or whatever. Oh, okay. So I totally did not know that Sand Slash was Ice Steel. So, so that um really uh really kind of threw me off so I don't really have anything to handle this right now um, I don't want to swap anything in because it does get the slush rush and everything gets out sped so <laughs> that's not good for me because he's got earthquake and I do not want to take one of those with Marowak I do get the defense drop with the liquidation though. I can't toxic him, so I can't use my merciless. I'm not in a really good spot against it, against Sand Slash right now, and he's gonna be able to do a shit ton of damage with his earthquakes. They hit really hard. And I actually survive on one HP, which is crazy. So I actually get a recover off here. I'm trying to stall out the uh, hell. <laughs> Because that's uh, that would really help slowing him down. But uh, actually, looking at him, he might have hail himself so that he could get a slush rush up. But he's gonna swap in his static here, and uh, that's that's kind of a problem. Uh, I don't really have anything that I can swap into this thing to take to take it out. So. I'm actually going to try with coma o but this thing has absurdly high special attack. Zerkatry is like base 170 something special attack. But he actually, instead of going for an attack, he gets up the electric terrain. So he's not scarfed or anything. So I don't know what item he was running on it, but uh, I run a scarf with hidden power ice. So he's going to be able to send in his Sand Slash, and I am going to be able to Sky Uppercut it and take it out. Easily. So <clears throat> so that's uh, that's that down. Another thing is, uh, Circuitry is really, really powerful. I just want to kind of rant on about that Pokemon. But it's slow. So you kind of... I run a Scarf. So you either need to run a Scarf... Or a Focus Sash. I like Scarf because even if it's not Stab, his base special attack is so high that you could hit almost anything unless they're immune to it. And it'll do a serious amount of damage. And his bulk isn't god-awful, so you could potentially survive whatever they're, uh, whatever they're gonna hit you with. And you can pretty much two-hit KO anything. And then once you get like the beast boost, special attack boost, it's it's like game over. But yeah, without a scarf or a sash, it's not really a dependable Pokemon by any means. All right, guys. So these were two. Well, there was one great battle and one meh battle. But if you guys stuck around through it all, I praise you. You guys are great. I plan on doing a lot of changes to the channel, and I hope you guys are there with me through it all so if you want to join my facebook group check the link in the description i'll also throw in uh, the patreon link and all that other good stuff all right guys have a great day